Hi everyone. Today we're going to be going over a sample argument using a claim with reasons and strong evidence to support that claim. So the claim that I've chosen today is all elementary school students should be required to do extracurricular activities. So extracurricular activities may be a club or a sport. Um, so this is something that I believe is true and that I want to convince you is true as well. So I can't really convince you of this um, without giving you some reasons why I believe that this is true. So my first reason, I ask myself, why do I believe that? Well, I believe it because it helps children build essential life skills such as teamwork, time management, and goal setting and critical thinking. So once again, I can say what I want all day for my reasons, but if I don't have any evidence or research to support those reasons and to prove that my reasons are true, then it's kind of an empty argument. So the more evidence and facts and statistics and research that you have to support your reasons, the stronger your argument will be. So how do I know that it helps you develop essential life skills? Well, my evidence says in a university study, they found that kids involved in after-school activities were rated higher in these areas of life skills than kids who were not. So their parents were given a survey and they rated their child in these areas. And the kids who played after school sports or did a, a team or a club had more of these life skills than kids who did not. So this, my evidence, proves my reason to be true. So it, like any good argument, I have three, at least three major points. So another reason that I believe all kids should play after school sports or activities is that it helps to relieve stress and anxiety. How do I know that it helps relieve stress and anxiety? I need something to prove that that's true. So my evidence to prove it is that exercise and recreational activities just means like fun activities are proven to lower amounts of cortisol, which is the stress hormone in the human brain. So this is actual scientific fact that backs up my reason, proves it, okay? Now, reason number three is that it allows students more opportunities when choosing middle schools. So how do I know that it allows you more choice um, in middle schools? Well, I know that because one thing middle schools look at is school involvement. The more involved you are in school activities, the more desirable you're going to be um, and it builds a really strong student resume. So the more clubs and activities that you have on your application, the more likely you are to get into whatever school you want to get into. So I've given you three reasons. And for each reason, I have at least one piece of hard fact evidence to prove that that reason is correct. And then my conclusion is just summing it all up. Um, I restate my claim by saying all elementary school kids should be required to do extracurricular activities because, and then I restate my three reasons very short. Um, it develops life skills, relieves stress, and looks good on a student resume. So any good argument is made up of a claim that they want to prove is correct, followed by reasons and evidence to prove those reasons. So the pattern that your writing should follow should be you state your claim very clearly. You take a position. Um, your, your claim might be that all elementary school students should not be required to do extracurricular activities, but you better be prepared to give me a reason, or three reasons rather, backed up by hard facts and evidence as to why that is true. So before you choose a claim, which you guys have already chosen um, from last week, Make sure that you can prove it with three reasons and a piece of evidence for each reason that proves your argument is correct. And I guarantee you, if you follow this format for any argument that you may form in your life, um, odds are you'll, you'll have a pretty strong argument. So that is the basic format. I am also going to include a video next on how to put it into writing. So if you need to clear up a little bit on um, how to actually go about writing it, then check out my next video.